pulling down the stronghold of the Prince of Persia. Then he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come because of your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me twenty-one days, and behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, for I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. Now I have come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the latter days, for the vision refers to many days yet to come. Daniel 10, 12 through 14. Abba Father, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We are so thankful for the opportunity to come before you to pray, to make supplication and intercessory prayers. Abba Father, we join the voices of the angels and we say, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. We say blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. Amen. Abba, we worship you forever and ever. As we come before you in prayer, Heavenly Father, we thank you for causing our heavens of answered prayers to be opened today by your fire and never be closed again. In the name of Jesus Christ. O Abba Father, we declare that you are the one true God, the Most High God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. We worship and praise you. We confess and repent of all of our sins. We ask you to forgive our sins. We receive your forgiveness and we forgive ourselves. And because Jesus has received us, we receive ourselves as children of God absolved of all of our sins as if we had never committed them, washed whiter than snow, more pure than wool. Please cleanse us of all unrighteousness, create in us clean hearts, and renew a right spirit within us. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all of your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Jeremiah 29, 11 through 14. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, ex except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Mark 3, verse 27. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Matthew 1228 28-30 But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was, 2 Timothy 3, 9. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Exodus 14, 13, 14. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Luke 19.10 Dear Heavenly Father, we purpose and choose with our free will to repent for trying to keep you in a box of limitations and boundaries 
that would allow us to stay in control. We repent for the sin that opened the door for the Prince of Persia delaying the answers to our prayers, that we personally, the Ecclesia, the body of Christ corporately have operated in as sin. We ask you to forgive us. We receive your forgiveness and we, res and we forgive ourselves. Please forgive us for all the ways we wouldn't let you express yourself in our lives in supernatural ways. We personally, the Ecclesia, the body of Christ corporately have come out of captivity to the Prince of Persia. We have ascended and we now walk, abide, dwell, play, pray, and spiritually warfare in the supernatural in the name of Jesus Christ. Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ, and maketh manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. 2 Corinthians 2.14 Dear Heavenly Father, we personally, the Ecclesia, the body of Christ corporately, purpose and choose with our free wills to repent for any and all ways that we have allowed the Prince of Persia to veil the glory of your presence that you have placed upon our lives. Abba, fill every hole of invalidation within us that enables the Prince of Persia to abide. Forgive us for all the ways that we have allowed the Prince of Persia to rule and reign in our lives when we should have allowed you to. We personally the Ecclesia, the body of Christ corporately, cancel and loose ourselves from this debt today in Jesus Christ's name. We pull down every stronghold of the Prince of Persia, delaying the answers to our prayers that Satan has erected against us personally, the Ecclesia, the body of Christ corporately. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, we pull down every stronghold of the Prince of Persia. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, we bind, we arrest and paralyze the strong man of the Prince of Persia. You proceed no further, 2 Timothy 3.9. We cancel and loose you from all of your assignments. We close every door that was open to you. We revoke every legal right you had. We release the power and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ against you today and we personally, the Ecclesia, the Body of Christ, corporately see you no more again forever. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, we bind, we arrest, and we paralyze every devil, demon, evil, wicked, and unclean spirit under the subordination of the strong man of the Prince of Persia. We cancel and we loose you from all of your assignments. We close every door that was open to you. We revoke every legal right you had. We release the power and authority of the Lord Jesus Christ against you today. And we personally, the Ecclesia, the body of Christ corporately, see you no more again forever. Abba Father, according to the promises in your word in Galatians 3, 13, 14, we personally, the Ecclesia, the body of Christ corporately, are redeemed from the Prince of Persia. We are redeemed from the curse of the Prince of Persia. We are redeemed from the generational curse of the Prince of Persia. Today, we are immediately healed by the stripes of Jesus from all harm and damage caused by the Prince of Persia delaying the answers to our prayers and from the Prince of Persia himself. We decree today every yoke of the Prince of Persia is broken and destroyed from off of our necks and every burden lifted from off of our shoulders. We curse the roots of every tree of the Prince of Persia and we decree never again will fruit come from you and at once the tree withers. We speak to the mountains of the Prince of Persia, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and they are at once cast into the sea according to the promises of your word of truth in Isaiah 10, 27, and Matthew 21, 21. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off of thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing, 
Isaiah 10, 27. Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. Matthew 21, 21. All glory to our Father in heaven. We personally, the Ecclesia, the body of Christ corporately, are now returned unto Jesus Christ, the shepherd and bishop of our souls. And we are supernaturally healed at once, this very moment, by his stripes. Our hopes, desires, and prayers, and the fulfillment of them, our minds, hearts, physical bodies, souls, spirits, all areas of our lives, our natural lives, our spiritual lives, and our prayer lives, every part of our minds, every inch of our hearts, our biochemical, bioelectrical, biomagnetic, and bioenergetic processes, our conscious, subconscious, unconscious, higher conscious, and supernatural conscious minds, our wills, emotions, thoughts, thought forms, and personalities, and our identities in Jesus Christ are immediately and supernaturally healed by His stripes from all the harm and damage caused by the Prince of Persia delaying the answers to our prayers. Hallelujah! In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We, personally, the Ecclesia, the Body of Christ corporately, are open to receive our creative miracles, the immediate reversal of the Prince of Persia delaying the answers to our prayers and we immediately receive the full restoration of our fulfilled desires that are now vibrant, flourishing trees of life. Prince of Persia, Jesus Christ of Nazareth binds and rebukes you. Yahweh, the creator of the heavens and the earth, rebukes you. The Holy Spirit now permanently removes you. We claim the blood of the Lamb, the shed blood of the one true Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and we personally, the Ecclesia, the body of Christ corporately, never see you again. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Abba Father, we ask you to fill us. Fill us personally. Fill the Ecclesia. Fill the body of Christ corporately. To overflowing with the fire of your presence. With joy with the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire, and with unquenchable revival fire, where the Prince of Persia has come out. And we thank you for sealing off his access to us, personally, the Ecclesia, the Body of Christ corporately, forever. In Jesus Christ's name. I declare the decree, we personally, and the Ecclesia, the Body of Christ corporately, suffer no hurt, no harm, no pain, no retribution, no backlash, no retaliation, guilt, or shame. We lack no good thing according to the promises of your word. We are not in want, and we do not suffer. We have full faith that we receive the fulfillment of this prayer and of our desires, which are trees of life to us. We receive our creative miracles and full restoration now in the name of Jesus Christ, and we give all the glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen.